it's Rachel with Rainbow, and today we're going to be working on off. Off is really important for their manners, um, especially a young dog like Rainbow. He gets really excited whenever he meets someone new. He wants to see them, and so he, since he is a smaller puppy, um, he feels like he has to jump up on people in order to get to their level to get attention from them. So we want to train him that that's not okay. Uh, he is going to get bigger, and so uh, you don't want him to, uh, you know, learn the bad habits now to where he could push you over or knock over a, a small child or something like that once he does start getting bigger. Also, he has sharp little uh, puppy claws, and if he has dirty feet, you don't want him scratching you or getting you all muddy. So, um, a few tips for off is to just like with anything when you're teaching a puppy is be consistent if you choose off or down whichever you like or another word um, always use that don't if he jumps up on you don't tell him off off get down get you know down rainbow because then that will confuse him so here we like to use off and we use down as lay down which uh, will work up to lay down eventually but we've got to start with the basics first with Mr. Rainbow. So when he jumps up on you, the most important thing to do is just turn away, tell him off, and don't give him any attention. A lot of times if they get super frantic, um, you know, any attention, even if it's bad, is better than no attention. So if he jumps up, it doesn't work to get in his face and say, no, 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 no. Of course, I don't want to scold him too much because he hasn't done anything wrong. Um, but if you do that, then that is still uh, him doing something in order to get a reaction out of you. So if you ignore him, he's going to learn that jumping up is not an effective way to get attention from you. That when he quiets down and is well behaved, then you will give attention to him. So, uh, to do this, it's just kind of a lot of uh, demonstrating. I don't want to encourage him to jump up on me and then discipline him for jumping up on me because that would be confusing. And so I'm just going to kind of act it out of um, what it's like when he does jump up. So, uh, like at daycare here, when I walk through the gate, he's excited to see me and he jumps up in front of me right away. So what I do is I turn my body, I bring my knee across my body, and I just turn and tell him off. And I turn away to him and I don't look at him. Now, uh, this is kind of like the knee jerk reaction, but just to clarify, you do not want to knee him or kick him or push him off of you. Bringing your knee up is just a way of moving his feet. So if his feet are on your leg and you move your leg, his leg, his feet fall off of your leg. And it's also to kind of shield your body. If you push him or kick him down, not only could you hurt him, but also that kind of makes it into a keep away game for him, which dogs, you know, like kids, they want to get into things that they aren't supposed to. And if you forbid something, then that is kind of uh, their goal to get that. So it's just a way of moving your leg so that his feet fall off of you and kind of blocking your body when you say off. All right, now if he jumps up on your lap when you're at home sitting on the couch, the best thing to do is just say off and stand up and he won't go tumbling down. You know, of course, don't stand up too quickly or you're next to a coffee table to where he could uh, fall and hit himself on something. But the point is, you want him to do the action. If you push him off and tell, off, uh, tell him off, it can turn into a game, but then also you're doing the work for him. And if you uh, turn away to where his paws fall off of you or if you stand up to where he falls off of you, then he's the one doing the action instead of you pushing or yanking him away. That's you doing the action. And when he's able to do it himself, that kind of helps uh, things to 
stick a little more in his brain. Now with off, we don't want to give him a treat afterwards. The treat is when you take time out to say hello to him. So if he jumps up to see me because he's excited to see me, I turn away, I say off, and I don't look at him, I don't look down at him. And then once he stops jumping, once he calms down, then I can approach him and pet him just like this. I will come to his level instead of him jumping up to come to my level. So that's really important. Getting, uh, 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 getting your attention and praise is his treat in this case. So, uh, just to wrap things up, as a reminder, make him do the action, turn yourself away, and don't give him the attention. You try those things, um, that's normally the cause of jumping up as he just wants to see you, and so don't give him attention until he is uh, calm and relaxed like this, or at least staying down. Hope this helps. Keep practicing at home and make sure you do it every time he jumps up. And if you meet new people and he jumps up, correct him right away with that too because uh, we want him to learn that it's not okay to jump up on anybody. But he is a quick learner. I can tell he's a smart dog, so it shouldn't be too hard. Just lots of practice, and I'm sure he will pick it right up. This was Rachel at Rainbow. We are working on off.